Hello and welcome back to the Geek Tech Show. And in today's video, we are going to be checking out Galison Trail once again. This is actually the special edition blue version of the Mid Hikers. This is the Navy Nubuck with black edition. And just in case this smells like BO, I got something special right here, a special weapon. We'll get started with the stink test in a second. Timberlands doesn't have too much in here. And once again, again, I can't believe this. See? Oh. Why do they do this? This is like so annoying. Ooh. Oh wow, it's hot. This thing, I can they keep on getting it stuck like super inside the shoe. Ooh, this is cool, like 73 on this. Awesome. So, we start with like all kinds of tests to find out if this is the shoe you should be getting for yourself. And this is a slick, very nice version of the white blue and a little apple it's actually pretty cool looking kicks in my opinion it smells a little bit okay oh yeah that's that smells so much better now I think this is like the real solution to those kicks is to have some special spray. And in case you want to get some of this really awesome spray, this is the Stargazing Meditation Essential Oil Mist from Bath and Body. Yeah, this is some, some good smelling thing. So, back to the shoe review right here. So, this shoe is pretty slick, it is not too bad. This one is on the floor now, and it's kind of good. So not really lightweight, and yet it doesn't feel too lightweight at the same time, especially if you drop it on your foot like I just did. Now, it doesn't really bend this much, so as a high curl, this is actually a good thing. You don't want this to bend too much. Over here, it gives you lots of protection, so in case you're gonna get hit, or you hit something or something falls on your foot this is some decent protection it's not very good but yet it will protect you from a lot of things especially in the woods and stuff if you hit something definitely will the design itself is pretty slick looking it's really cool looking as well i do like this right here you can see this like almost about one inch on the other side it is about the same exact thing as well and it gives you this right here very similar to the previous shoe that i reviewed it is just different color team to this and actually this is pretty a lot better than the previous one because the previous one had all those vents over here and this one actually doesn't it is all rather all around it is waterproof and also pretty cool looking as well the final thing about this is to check it out on your foot and see how this actually looks like and if it translates to be as good as it looks as well. Over here, you can see it does have the same exact pattern as the previous one did as too. And it does give you a lot of grip as well. So decent shoe, pretty good looking. I like the styling, it is really slick, it is really nice looking. Something for you to consider getting in a shoe and it is very cool looking as well let's go ahead and go and zoom in so you can see it up close and personal so zooming in over here you can really tell how slick and cool this thing actually looks like 
Now out of it right here and they did a very good job stitching this all together. In case you want to know where this is made, it is not made in China, it is made in Vietnam. The material itself is very decent too. It feels pretty good on your hands and everything. Now let's get this out and see how this looks like. It does come out. It is all black. The interior you can see it right now. Bring this right back in. It is pretty easy. So that is good in case you want to go ahead and put your own in here. The only thing I dislike kind of about this is that this is just weird like over here has its different version and this one right there it just keeps on going through this. This is actually metal over here. Everything else here is kind of plastic. This one is it's hard to tell. This I think this is kind of a, maybe metal, maybe plastic. It's really hard to tell with those right here. I think it might be a metal piece. Uh, yeah, the texture is metal. It's painted over right here. So this is metallic. This is metallic as well. And really nice material in the stitching as well. So I think this is one of the coolest looking Timberlands I have seen in a long time. Very decent looking too. Let's go ahead and do on feet test and see how it actually goes on the feet. Alright, let's check this out. And I'm sporting bombers over here. Those are the best socks ever. Let's see how this actually translates. Let me put this on. Really easy to put this on. See it here, and it actually is good with the laces. You can double knot them in case you need to. Another side. This, by the way, is a no face over here. No face makes very good stuff too. Now you can do this on the bottom, lace it, or you can double lace it if you want on the top as well. This is a really slick looking shoe. I like the bluish right here, really cool looking. Putting this on, it's pretty decent. I like them. Easy to put on, easy to walk. And I left the, those things right on here. It's kind of cool right now. It's kind of look. You're supposed to take this off, but it looks kind of slick. Makes a little bit of squishing sound, not too much. Probably will go away within use. I think those are pretty decent looking. They are actually a lot more comfortable than the previous hiking ones that I had. And they're all leather too, so they should be really waterproof even better. They don't have the vents to them like the previous version, the other garrisons. But, wow, I say those are slick looking kicks. So let's do a few testing with them. They feel very comfortable. They really feel really comfortable with the size too so you don't need to have a size down or size up it feels exactly right they do bend although they didn't really bend when i'm trying to bend with my hands or the feet it does bend so that is good now let's go ahead and see how good all the shockers on this do a jumping test Pretty good too. Good shock absorber, so I'm pretty surprised. And because there's like a one inch platform over here, it gives you a huge amount of shock absorber. Hey, uh, I'm thinking about giving this a 10 stuff, but there is just no shoe I think dissolves exactly a 10, unless I feel perfect in here, and I do not. So what is my problem with this specifically? I don't feel tight in the shoes, they're exactly right. 
I don't have too many complaints about this one. In fact, I don't have, I don't think, any complaints. I think one thing I'm noticing right now is that the leather material over here is not so good. I think over time, this, this leather is just not going to look too good. So that is my complaint about that. I think it's mostly cosmetic. So I do think this excellent, cool looking kicks do dissolve either in your collection or on your feet. I would not actually use them for a collection. I would stay with the Nikes or Easy's, not those. I don't think anybody really collects Timberlands. But when it comes to usefulness of the shoes, those are pretty useful. Really stylish, cool looking. Definitely will impress the date. And I would say it does all in my recommendation. If you did like, the shoe review. There was tons of others I have created. Lots of different kind of shoes. And check them all out and see for yourself. And decide which shoe is right for you. We're on feet test and review. Only from the Geek Tech Show. So if you did enjoy this video, do give it and smash the thumbs up button. Let me know what you think of those shoes, if you're getting them for yourself. And above all, please sub to this channel for more entertainment and one of a kind looking videos.